thanks for watching Dressage TV. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Today's video is a little different. So I had a viewer send me a video of her riding her horse. And today we're gonna watch this video together and kind of go through some ideas of tools that we could use to improve these two. Um, first of all, I really want to thank her for sending in this video and putting herself out there. That's always a scary thing, but I think it's really useful stuff that we all can learn from. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so here is our student and her horse. And first off, what I love about this rider and horse is that the horse is very forward thinking and the rider is doing a really nice job of just going with the horse. So here she has a nice walk going and you can see the horse is a little unsteady in the contact um, but like here she's nice and relaxed and round so that's a good thing. When you have a horse that's a little unsteady you just kind of want when they put their head up that they run into a little pressure and when they put their head down that the rein relaxes. Okay so now she picks up the trot and you can see this horse has lots of energy. So as a rider, we've got to come up with some strategies to be able to handle this energy. So, and you can also see that she's just a little bit counter flexed and not really looking around the circle like she should be. So I always like to start with thinking about the training pyramid, the dressage training pyramid. So at the bottom of that training pyramid, we have rhythm and relaxation. So definitely we need to first be thinking about the rhythm and the relaxation of this horse. She tends to get a little bit hurried and she doesn't seem horribly tense but she's not as relaxed as she should be. So definitely like the rider is doing keeping her on circles is a really great idea. A circle line helps to get her to bend it makes her turn, and every time you turn and bend, it slows your horse down. Now what I would recommend with this horse would be lots of changes of direction. So rather than just simply staying going the same direction, I would be doing like a pretty tight serpentine where you're turning right, and then you're turning left, and then you're turning right, and then you're turning left. And what that tight serpentine is going to do is it's going to help get your horse to bend and it's also going to help slow your horse down. Every time you turn on a tight turn your horse is going to slow down. So here she does, she goes to the left and then what you'll notice is immediately when she goes to the left the horse relaxes his neck, excuse me, her neck a little lower and rounder. So you can tell that this horse is a little bit more comfortable going to the left than to the right. And again, that's why I would I would definitely use changing direction. Let's pause for a minute. Okay, so let's rewind and look at that when the horse broke into canter. And I'm putting this in slow motion so you guys can see. So this horse, you can tell, she's really forward thinking. And here, she makes a nice transition to canter, but the, the rider doesn't want that. You can see she a little bit punishes her in the mouth. So what I would have done, instead of just pulling back on the reins, is I would have turned into a small circle the second that the horse broke into the canter, and that circle, and that circle would automatically bring the horse back into trot. So lots of riders make this mistake where they just kind of panic and pull back on both reins, and you can see the horse puts her head more up rather than if you had just turned her onto a small circle and bent her, she would have trotted on her own and you wouldn't have gotten as much resistance. I always like to think of what you can do to get the horse doing what you want without too much resistance. Okay, so now we're back to the trot work. And again, the horse is forward thinking you can see like here she drops her head nicely so as a rider what I would be thinking on here would be just developing a little more bending so with my inside rein 
in my inside leg and my inside rein, I would be asking her to look a little to the inside and dropping that neck down. And any time that she goes a little bit faster, I would turn into a smaller circle and that immediately is going to help slow her down. This is looking better though here. You can see the rhythm and the relaxation are coming. And again there, when she broke to canter, I would turn immediately onto a small circle and be able to put my inside leg on and just teach her that I don't want the canter yet. But this is coming along and I love how the rider is really just going with the horse. I think that's a really important skill that lots of people don't have is that they're not willing to go with the horse. So let's talk about rider position and how this can help get the horse a little better. So she tends to be just a tiny bit in front of the vertical with her upper body and carries her hands a little close to her body. What I'd like to see is her shoulders a little bit more back and her reins a little bit more forward and so that her hands are in front of the saddle. So you can kind of see that when she's going in motion here, that we'd like her to just tuck her bum a little bit more underneath of her shoulders and have her reins a little bit shorter so that she can develop a steady contact with her horse. You also want to think about on a horse like this that you're really regulating the tempo with your posting. So you've got to pull your stomach in and control your posting that you post exactly the speed that you want and you don't allow your horse to go faster than your posting. The other thing that I might recommend is it looks a little bit like she's reaching for her stirrups. So I would maybe try to shorten the stirrups just one hole and see if that doesn't stabilize her lower leg a little bit more and keep the ball of her foot on that stirrup. So let's look at this all in slow motion because sometimes it's a little bit easier to see in slow motion. So as far as her position, again, you can see that she could afford to have her reins a little bit shorter and carry her hands more in front of her in order to develop a steadier contact on the horse. And while she is thinking about getting her horse to look a little bit more to the inside. You can also see if you look closely at her lower leg that it looks kind of like her heel is drawn up and perhaps that she's reaching a little for the stirrups. So she'd want to decide if maybe shortening her stirrups uh, just a hole and seeing if that doesn't help that she can keep her heel down and her lower leg a little bit steadier. And then the last thing is those shoulders just a hair more back and really controlling the tempo of this trot with posting, like that she's posting heavy and kind of slowly getting out of the saddle so that she can help her horse find just a little bit slower tempo. But overall, I love how forward thinking this horse is. I love that the rider's going with the horse and I definitely think there's a lot of progress that these two can make together. So I hope that these tips help. I hope these tips help you guys also. Thanks for watching.